Hi there. In this video, we will do the chain rule, which is used when we have different variables in a function which further depends upon another function. So let's uh, start the understanding of it. This is basically the uh, possibility of indirect dependence of one variable on another. It means that a, a variable will depend on another variable, but it will not directly depend on it. It will indirectly depend on it. It means that it will depend on another variable, which will finally affect the last variable. So let us consider a few functions. This is the first function. Z depends upon Y. Further, Y depends upon X. So this is the indirect dependence of Z on X because X is going to affect Y and Y is going to affect Z. Here we have gathered them and it shows that X is going to affect Y and then Y is going to affect Z. So there is indirect dependence of X of uh, Z on X or X is indirectly determining the variable Z. Here we are mentioned in this uh, certain way and you can see we have added via z y. So x is going to affect y and y is going to affect z. Here we are, uh, we are going to use this function to develop this function. So x should affect y here, we have a term for it. x should affect y and then y should affect z. So here we are, y should affect z. When we uh, multiply these two, that is uh, combine their effect, these delta y's will be cancelled out and will be left with dz over dx. So you can see dz over dx is written here. So chain rule is developed here and in this chain rule x is affecting y and y is affecting z. The indirect dependence via y variable is confirmed. Change in x yields change in y and change in y yields change in z. This is why we call it a chain rule because it follows a chain reaction as you can see there is a chain and it can go beyond this uh, uh, small chain because there can be more than two functions. For example, z can depend on y then y can depend on x and x can further depend on w. So we have three functions here and four variables. And when we combine them, W determines X and X determines Y. And finally, Y determines Z. So here, W is affecting Z, but via X and Y. This is why dependence of Z on W via Y and X as the auxiliary variables. We can call them auxiliary variables because they are helping us to develop the relationship between W and Z. They are performing a, a role of an auxiliary. This is why we can call them auxiliary variable. Now let us consider that how this uh, uh, situation can be explained. Again, we know that W affects X. So for that, W affects X and x affects y. Here we are, x affects y. And finally, y affects z. So for that, we develop this term, y determines z. Multiplying them to create a chain, uh, dx, dx will be cancelled out, dy and dy will be cancelled out. So it will be dz over dw, as you can see, dz over dw. So now it is correct, dz over dw. And uh, this shows that w will cause a change in x and change in x will cause a change in y and change in y will cause a change in z. There are three variables and there are four functions. Now let's do a numerical example of it. Here you can see we have following functions. z is depending upon y and y is further depending upon x. So there is, is indirect dependence of Z on X, but via Y. So we will develop the chain rule that is X affects Y and Y affects Z. So um, 
let's develop these two terms uh, we have to differentiate z function with respect to y and we have to differentiate y function with respect to x so here we can do this z with respect to y and y with respect to x here we have done this you can pause the video and see that how this calculation is done dz over dy and using this y we get dy over dx is equal to 2 so substituting dz over dx we will get this answer because dz over dy is 6y and dy over dx is equal to 2 as we found here and simply we can multiply these and we will get 12y which is the result of dz over dx now we have to find out the answer in terms of x because we want to find out the effect of x on z but this expression is not in terms of x it is in terms of y we will substitute the value of x to find out the effect so this is why we will use this function which was given that y is equal to 2x plus 5 so that instead of this y we get x and we have substituted this value simplifying we get this answer now you see that if I am to explain the effect of x on z I can simply put the value of x here and it will give me the rate of change of z with respect to x here I couldn't have done this because it was in terms of y and not in terms of x so now it is in terms of x and it makes a complete sense of how z will be affected by x via y this was the numerical example this was the symbolic interpretation of more than two functions and for two functions the symbolic uh, explanation was like this so this was the chain rule which is applied in economics and in the next video we will see its economic application